Chef, and we're gonna learn how to make a delicious sauce for corn on the cob. Chef Ryan Hootmarker from Centered Chef Food Studios is back. Chef we're Ryan, back. thank you for joining us. Thank you Man, very much for having us. Really, really good. All right, my question is, when you're doing corn, in the husk or out of the husk to make it juicy? You know what, you can do it both styles. The one that I prefer today, we're gonna work with the glaze, it's mm -hmm. a chipotle molasses glaze. We're actually gonna take the husk off. Okay. So if you can keep the husk on, you just need to cook it a little bit longer in your grill, lower flame. Okay, but either way, we're gonna have it really juicy. I love corn, I can Absolutely. eat it on the crock hop all day. We got you stocked up. Oh, the, good. the first thing that we're working on today is we have a little Caribbean inspiration. So mm -hmm. Puerto Rican Day Parade's coming up this weekend. Right. And one of the classic dishes that Puerto Ricans love is pork pinchos. It's a pork kebab, and what it is, it's marinated in a little bit of garlic, some oregano, mm -hmm. we have some olive oil, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it over and add a little citrus to this. So I put a little lemon, some orange zest in there, mm -hmm. pinch of salt, and some pepper, and a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is mixing this in the mortar and pestle, and that's gonna help release a lot of that good flavor yeah. from the oregano mm -hmm. and the garlic. Since once we got that nice and mixed up, what we do is we have our pork cubes. This yeah. is organic pork. It's all natural, which at Centered Chef Food Studios, we're all about just good, wholesome, sure. clean food. We put this in our marinade bag. And pork and chicken, they need to marinate for about six hours. Mm -hmm. And what the end result is, we've soaked a couple of skewers and some water right here so they don't burn up on the grill. Exactly. And then... You prefer those to metal skewers? I do. Okay. I do. Why? Um, First of all, the metal is gonna, they're gonna heat up really hot, and mm -hmm. so they're gonna cook the inside, mm -hmm. and we want them to be nice and moist in the inside. Okay, very The good. other is just easier to eat from. Okay. So what we do is, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys on the grill, and these are gonna cook for about seven to 10 minutes, and we have some that are on here already. Mm-hmm. Do you close, you close your top on your grill, or do you like it open? Some people do it either way. I like to close it, mm -hmm. um, but for purposes of being here, <laughs> we want everybody to see what we're cooking. Yeah. So these are cooked for about seven to 10 minutes and these are just infused with a ton of garlic and oregano flavor. The other thing that we have, Bob, is we have a glaze that on the corn on the cob, it's a chipotle molasses glaze. Mm -hmm. So we've had our corn on the grill for about seven to 10 minutes as well and it gets a nice char on it. Mm -hmm. And what we did was we took a little bit of chipotle peppers, which is nice and smoky. Oh, yeah. And if you wanna take this, this whisk right here, mm -hmm. we're gonna add a little bit of molasses to this. Sure. So you have the smoky heat from the chipotle. And with that, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Some of the cilantro. Oh yeah, we got this going, man. A little bit of garlic, some lime. Taking this right back in the studio with me. You got it. <laughs> and then what we do, all we simply do is, once we have that corn, mm -hmm. just gonna brush a little bit of this on here. And because it has the molasses, which is a byproduct of making sugar, it's actually gonna caramelize. So we throw that on there real quick. We're gonna let that go. And last but not least, we can't forget about dessert. Right, right. We have a coconut rice pudding that we made. Oh man. And you're gonna love this. With the coconut rice pudding, what we're gonna put on top of this is a rum spiced mango. Mm -hmm. So we take our rum, a little bit of lime juice, and we have some brown sugar right here. We're gonna mix this up. And there's the mango, chopped. And, and then you got the mango right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna go right on top. Got about a minute left. We're gonna go right on top with that. Mm -hmm. And Bob, if you could take a little bit of mint and shred that up and throw that right on top. The mint sure. is gonna help accent a the mango. Fresh mint, oh, that's great, man. So this like is something that we like to cook for our clients. We work with corporate clients and individuals and help them support them with all right. healthier living. Oh, it's great. It's, it all looks good. And look at this, uh, Willie, take a look at this final results there. And, uh, Let's see, the Sitter Food Studios, they are located on Chicago Avenue in Chicago. You can give them a call at 312-226-CHEF, or you can log on to sitterchef.com. And of course, uh, you can get them at our midday website. All of this looks terrific. Thank you very much. Can't wait to try it. Thank you so much for coming in.